I've turned off automatic catch, and I'm playing from the last locate position. And here's our problem area. And play from last locate position. So I'll zoom in even further. We'll start with this existing crossfade. It was created by comping in a take folder, and then rendered when we flattened that out. Working in the audio track editor, I can select multiple regions by shift clicking. I can deselect an already highlighted region by pressing shift and clicking on it again. I'll select this region on the left prior to the edit. Then it's head on over to the inspector, close down the groups view and open up the region inspector. Then open up the more view. The selected region already has a fade out. It's an equal power crossfade going into the following region and it lasts for 20 milliseconds. I can get rid of this crossfade simply by using the region inspector and setting the fade out time to zero. In fact, if you like, you can edit any aspect of your fades from within the region inspector. Let's audition this transition point. I think the simplest thing here is to just delete this little snippet of a region in the middle. Now it's time to fuss around with my resize pointer tool and adjust these edges. My drag mode is currently set to allow overlaps, so I'll just drag one over part of the other. So I do the edit in the audio track editor, and we still get an overlap. In other words, the audio track editor follows whatever the drag mode is in the main window. We'll have fun with this when we get to shuffle modes. So doing a little review here, I'll right click on this region and choose to remove the overlaps. It's in the recently used commands area, but if you can't find it, it's under the trim section. Okay, no smirks. This is called a butt spliced edit, end to end. Now we can use our junction tool. And without the overlap, we can use our fade tool without unexpected results. So I'll call up my tool menu and grab that fade tool. If I go ahead and drag over the boundary between these two regions, a cross fade is automatically created. The fade tool then allows me to adjust the boundaries. That's the length of the cross fade. It also lets you adjust the curvature of these fades. And perhaps most importantly of all, it's easy to delete a fade. Just hold the option key and click with the fade tool on the cross fade. It's gone. Let's scroll on down manually to our next edit point. This time I'll tap T twice to get back to my pointer tool. Ooh, that's a nasty edit. Now it turns out there's another convenient way to access the fade tool. Let's go to our preferences. Head on over to your general preferences and click on the editing tab. We have the option to activate something called the fade tool click zone. When this is active, you can get a fade tool just by moving your regular pointer tool over the right part of the region. It's kind of in the upper right below the loop area or the upper left. Now there's another automatically generated crossfade from the take folder here. I can edit it just by moving my pointer tool over the right spot. So I'll adjust the curvature, how fast it fades in versus out. I can adjust the boundary or the length of the crossfade as well. Or maybe I'll just get rid of this fade. I'm option clicking, I'm option clicking, nothing's happening. Well, that's not available unless you have the real fade tool. So I've got the ability to stay zoomed out and have a nice overview in my main window while zooming in below. So I'll navigate to a new edit in the main window, turn on catch for a second, and play. I'll turn catch back off and go ahead and grab my fade tool. Once I've got that, I can just option click on this fade and redo the edit. Remember that the audio track editor follows the drag mode you set in your main window. And there's another drag mode option that we haven't checked out called crossfade mode. It allows you to automatically create crossfades simply by editing your audio. Cool. So I'll tap T twice to get to my pointer tool and just do a resize edit, overlapping one region over the other in X-Fade mode. With the X-Fade mode, any resize edit that overlaps one region onto another automatically generates the crossfade over that area. The same thing happens if you drag one region over part of another to create the overlap instead of using the resize tool. So we've got the fade thing down pretty nicely. Coming up, we're going to check out working with the marquee tool in conjunction with transients rather than working with the grid. I know you don't want to miss that. See you soon.